Hello traders, so the title of the video is how to catch the best oversold and overbought a CCI indicator. All right, so we are talking about overbought and oversold a CCI indicator. The CCI is overbought when it is above the level of a positive 100, it is oversold when it is below the negative 100. So here you can see minus 100, okay, that's the oversold zone for the CCI indicator, all right? So when we are saying that the CCI is oversold, it does not mean that the financial instrument itself is oversold. It's just telling us that the CCI itself is oversold and it's likely to go back up. But generally, traders think that when the CCI is oversold, it also means that the financial instrument itself is oversold. It's not always the case. In this tutorial, I want to show you how one can catch the best oversold and overbought CCI indicator, all right? So I put on my chart the level of uh, negative 100, which is the oversold zone, and I'm going to put now the positive 100, all right? Somewhere in that zone, that's the overbought zone for the CCI, all right? I'm using here the CCI period 14, all right? So I'll color the oversold into green. That's it. I'm done. So if you look on my chart, you can see that I have uh, this one is oversold here. And this is oversold here. And my CCI 14 is oversold. And here it is again below the negative 100, indicating to me that the CCI... Oops, what's going on here? One second, traders. My screen is frozen. Okay, now this zone also is oversold. Okay, now here we have overbought because it's above. Oh, what's going on here? The level of 100. But one of the mistakes that uh, traders are making is that in when the CCA is overbought, people want to sell, and they just want to sell. If you look in this session here, uh, by selling a CCA when it's overbought, that's a very bad thing here. You can see that uh, it stays overboard for long time, many years. All right. So sellers that are selling just because the CCA was sold are just wasting their time because the CCA is giving us the warning that they, <laughs> the, the, the stock is overboard. If the stock is truly, truly overbought, all right, it shouldn't be breaking resistance level, yes or no. But here we are, the CCA is telling us that the stock is overbought, but the stock continues to break resistance and finding a resist, finding a support above those resistance level. We must buy, all right, we must buy. We shouldn't be selling because the price is breaking resistance and finding a support, though the CCA is overbought, will acknowledge that warning but we will follow the price, which is the number one indicators. Now, there is a video that I talked about before, about the CCI trading mistake, part one. You two say that video, CCI trading mistake, part one, by the Pro Traders YouTube channel. So, without going away from the topic today, how to catch the best oversold and overbought CCI indicator. I have recorded a similar video like this before, but I want to highlight a few things today in this tutorial. So, if you have watched already watched that video, I encourage you to watch the full length of this video because uh, I'm going to point out a few things. You can see that I have a few spots here that I have highlighted on this chart. The financial instrument that we are looking at is Matt. Tell Incorporation, a very, very popular American stock that, uh, okay, professional traders love to trade. Have you ever traded Mattel before? Okay, it's a very, very popular okay, American stock. Traders love Mattel, okay, day traders, swing traders, position traders love Mattel, okay? So, now, 
So this this was a resistance before, yes or no? How do I know? Because the price went up to that level and came down. Okay, it was a resistance. So some people sold it here. So when you see a highlight all this here, there was a bit of support here, price went up, but not very much. So people sold it down. Then this was a rally. So we will ignore this this uh, support because why should we ignore this support? Then let's go over this. Why should we ignore this support? Because the price break below it, okay. So we ignore the support because the price break below it, okay. It's not significant support level. If it was a significant support level, the price should continue to go up, all right. So we highlight those level where the price did change direction. You see them on my chart now. There is another one here that I forgot to highlight. Here it is, one here. So in order to okay catch the base over sold. We must find levels when a price did find a support before and at the same time when a CCI is oversold. So one example is here. You see here? Price came down one, two, three. Minimum price move is free. Do you know about earlier way? Minimum price move is free. Here it is. You find a support after minimum price move is free. This support level was in place since 2000. Since, since 2000. The year 2000. Can you see that here? This one. I'm talking about this one here. So we know that this is a very, very good support level because the minimum price move is free. The price did find a support here. When I want to three again. So we like a live very much this support. This is a significant support level. So talking about how to catch the best oversold CCI. When the CCI is oversold again, so here it was oversold. If it's oversold again at the same level where the price did find a support before, we will take that into consideration. So this is how one can catch the best oversold CCI indicator. So here again, you can see that it was oversold again at a significant support level where people did buy the stock before. Understand that the small money always buy at a specific price level. We are talking about sophisticated market participant. They know where they bought it before, they know where they sold it before, and they would like to buy at those price level. <laughs> You'll be amazed. That's how they trade. That's how these people trade. So all they need, they will just know. They know the fundamental. They know the story about the company. They know the management very well. So if they, they are, for instance, in the middle of the sea, and they hear that Mattel reached the level of 11 dollars they know the meaning of that because they remember that they bought it be here before now the cc is oversold this is one of the best oversold cc why because the price this is a significant support level the price did change direction in that zone because we are trading first the price they bought it here they are likely to buy here now the cc is oversold again here this is one of the best cc uh, one of the best oversold CCI. But now we can improve this strategy by checking candlestick pattern for a bullish engulfment, all right? Bullish uh, candlestick pattern. And then we implement a top down trading method. So when we are talking about candlestick pattern, when the, the CCI is oversold at a significant support level, all right, we must now use a different time frame trading method to control the risk and trade it like a pro here it is did it work it worked beautifully all right it worked beautifully okay you see now so now again look at look at the overbought i'm going to show you one example here all right people sold it here before look at this one so price went down rally up we are talking about this one here so that level in the zone of $32.70, okay? I'm talking about this one here, all right? So if the CCI is overbought in that zone, so you see here, it went above the level of 100, but we will not sell it yet. So it went above it when the price was still in the zone of uh, $22, all right? We will prefer to sell it here. Now it's well above the 100, almost above it's almost 260 level and we know now the cc is well overbought but the price is also at a specific price level where the small money did sell the stock before so when a cc is overbought at the point where the small money did sell the stock before that will be one of the best overbought cci 
Again, when the CCI is oversold at the point where at the price level where the small money did buy the stock before, okay, that will be okay one of the best okay oversold CCI indicator. Am I making sense? So here again, you see they sold it here, yes or no, this level here, pay attention to my cursor. They sold it here, CCI was overbought for a long time, but as you reach this level, people sold it. People were trying to sell it, but the price continued to go up. But here, those were sellers, and the price came down one, two, three. So this is a significant resistance level. And you want to understand what is happening in the, small, in the stock market? The small money sold it at a specific price level of $42, they do not forget. If the CCI, any CCI is overbought at the point where the small money did sell it before for swing trading, day trading, and position trading purposes, we have a high probability overbought CCI. But we will not just sell it, okay? We don't want to sell it straight away. Now, we will now say, okay, they sold it there before. Now the CCI is overbought. This is likely to be a high probability overbought CCI. Now we say, okay, price can still go up, so we will say priority to bullish signal above the $42.03 and priority to bear signal below it. So, but if we want to sell it, we will use what? Different time frame, trading metal to control the risk. Without that, we are just gambling, just sell, hoping that it will go down and the price can go up, okay? use different time frame trading method. So this is about how to catch the best oversold and overbought a CCI indicator. When the CCI is oversold, at the point where the small money did buy the stock before, that is likely to be one of the best oversold CCI. One must use a different time frame trading method to buy the stock, okay? If the CCI is overbought at the point where the small money did sell the stock before, that would is likely to be a high probability a trading setup. Okay, we will use a different time frame okay to control the risk. This is about how to catch the best oversold and over overbought okay CCI indicator. But I have a warning for traders. If you want to apply this method, don't just go on a five minute, three minute, okay, <laughs> 30 minutes, try to play that. It may work, but understand that okay, it's about the market noise if you're on a lower time frame the best approach is to go at least okay daily chart minimum oh if you say daily chart george i'm a scalper okay if you say that's too much for you at least use the four hour time frame okay I encourage you to use at least the daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart, quarterly chart. See those levels, draw them, and then you can even drop it now to your three minute time frame to trade it. As always, if you learn something new for the first time, even if it's too exciting and you believe in it, don't take my word for it. Use a demo account, practice, practice, practice. As you are practicing, you may see, okay, you may face different challenges if you are you you face okay different challenges okay come back down to the comment section ask a question and say george i've been doing this and I, I find this how do we go around it and i will be recording another video to answer your specific question so use a demo account before going live this video is for educational purposes only it's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial insurance. For new traders, the CCI stands for the Commodity Channel Index. It's a momentum oscillator that is developed by a gentleman called Donut Lambert. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. In due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to catch the best overshown and overboard CCI indicator. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Speak to you soon.